welcome to today's video. So today I wanted to share with you a little sneak peek behind the scenes of a virtual creative retreat and also take you with me as I go and find my new French box easel while we're staying just off the marina in Gladstone, Queensland. to go and pick up my uh, French box easel has arrived and Andrew's dropped me off in the tender and if it's too heavy I'll have to get a taxi to carry me back with it but hopefully I can carry it because I wanted to be start using it to paint on the beach as we're sailing north. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I have got so many creative projects on the go all at once and it's I'm in a phase when all the ideas are bubbling up and everything feels like it's coming together at once <laughs> and it's a lot of energy to try and hold on to so I'm actually trying not to hold on to it but in fact just to flow with it and to keep following the inspiration because I find when I follow the inspiration for different projects, things get done with so much more ease rather than trying to force myself to follow a linear path of, you know, I'm going to begin now, I'm going to finish, get through the middle and then I'm going to finish this one linear project. Instead, I tend to work quite um, in a circular sort of fashion and I'll put one thing down and ideas will continue to percolate while I pick something else up and continue working. And that happens whether it's in my paintings, you know, I'll work on a series all at once, um, picking up and putting down paintings, or it's projects in the business. So at the moment I'm writing a book, I'm uh, hosting Flourish, the art of creative living and creating new content for that. I am also wanting to pick up, just wait for this car to go past, pick up uh, watercolour and learn a little bit more about how to paint with watercolour. Um, and then I've got new ideas for podcasts and and then we've got the general business mastermind all sorts of things are happening and it's really lovely but um, and now I also want to start making these video blogs so which <laughs> is extremely exciting because I've wanted to make videos in a way that were a bit more useful than just making videos of our sailing adventures and now I've had this idea to start weaving in more about my day-to-day -day life and also making videos that are like painting tutorials and um, sharing tips about living a creative life. So lots of good things are happening. Lots of good things. So success. It's actually not too heavy and I think I'm going to be able to carry it back all the way to the boat. So I don't have to get a taxi. Yay! <laughs> so good with the French box. I have been able to carry it about, oh I suppose it's two kilometres um, and it's not even that exhausting so that's a good thing. Next step is to set it up. I might even try setting it up on the front of the boat and see how it all unfolds. Wait, I wasn't sure. So 
today I'm hosting a virtual creative retreat for our Flourish The Art of Creative Living members and I just love these retreats so much. They're a full day where we get together and carve out time for painting and creating and members can choose to follow a studio date or a painting exercise that's inside Flourish or a completely self-directed project and I will be on the call with them to answer any questions and just to have some supported creative and painting time. It's really nice to gather together as a community. I find it such a such a wholesome, nourishing way to spend a Saturday together. And the magic of the internet. Here I can be on my boat and they can be in their studios all around the world and we come together and connect and prioritize painting for the day. It's really, really lovely. So I'll try and bring you along and show you a little bit of, of uh, a sneak peek behind the scenes of what happens. decided for my own creative project while we're all painting together to have a play with uh, acrylics. So I'm working with uh, water-based mediums today, acrylics, and this lovely uh, drawing ink. I love this ink so much made by Atelier. It's waterproof drawing ink and it's really, really black and it makes beautiful sort of calligraphic marks. And I've decided to divide up my page into four boxes so that I can create four little series of abstracts and I really wanted to just dive into playing with layering and I've got a real craving for blues at the moment and turquoises which is not really anything new and uh, and mark making and having fun and a bit of a play so that's what my creative project is for today. Other members on the call I have decided to focus on painting with oils and doing an exercise that's inside the Flourish course um, where we paint lemons in three different ways with a palette knife, using glazes and also wet on wet with oil paints. And other members have decided to explore free journaling and just writing all their thoughts out and letting things spill out onto the page to create some mental white space and reconnect with themselves. So yeah, it's a really, really beautiful day and I just feel very blessed that I get to connect with like-minded souls. Um, and it's like having new friends, <laughs> new creative friends. It's really fun. Making the first few marks on a blank page or a blank canvas can sometimes feel a little bit daunting, but I always find the best way to start is just to think about a colour that I love and then put that down on the page. Mark making is a really playful, joyful and free way of expressing yourself and playing with your materials and seeing what they can do. So in this process, I'm really just seeing how layering one type of mark on top of another type of mark on top of another type of medium or paint with pencil over the top starts to create a more interesting surface. And I don't have an idea of how it's going to look exactly, <laughs> in fact hardly at all, before I begin. It's really a process driven, explorative, playful process.
just recently I've started using core flute instead of using plywood as my support. So core flute in Australia is that um, plastic sort of corrugated board that you'll often see being used for real estate agent signs. And you can pick it up from the uh, hardware store. What I love about it is it's nice and light and yet it's rigid enough to support a drawing or a painting. And that's what I've been masking taping my paper down onto while on the boat and I'm loving it. This is using the waterproof drawing ink by Artillier and it's waterproof in that once it dries it's not reactivated, it just sets so you can paint over it. And I love how it makes these calligraphic marks. You have to sort of use your whole body and if I was standing up in some ways it would make it even freer. work on multiple paintings in one sitting and I do this so that I don't overwork a painting and while it's drying I can pick up another painting. So I've actually got a number of boards on the go all at once here and I'm moving between them to make sure that they don't get too wet and I start making a big muddy mess. incredible things I always find about the creative process is realizing again and again that there's no one right way to do anything. There's really an infinite number of possibilities and it's that freedom, that chance to really explore that lights me up and delights me every time. Even if the result isn't always what I anticipated or hoped for or expected, where else do we get to have that freedom to explore and to play? In this painting I'm just exploring using white charcoal and black charcoal and graphite to draw over the top of some watercolour experiments that I did earlier in the week. I'm curious to see how these marks can float on top of the surface or how they start to appear on the pane of the painting. So where they appear in space, whether they seem to be floating in front or if they're situated on top of the washy backgrounds. And it's really just an explorative oh, experiment.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.